So you've heard that berberine is good for your gut and that it can kill off bad bacteria. Does it also kill off the good stuff? By the way, I work with supplements every day and have spent a lot of time studying and researching them and using them in my functional and holistic nutrition practice. So I know a thing or two about this. So in a recent video, I mentioned that berberine has antimicrobial effects and said it's kind of like being a natural antibiotic. This does not mean that it functions exactly like an antibiotic. So antibiotics are known for killing off all kinds of bacteria, including opportunistic, aka bacteria that's causing trouble, and commensurate bacteria, aka bacteria that we want growing. But by the way, even the good bacteria that we want growing can grow in excess and then cause negative issues. So when it comes to the organisms in your gut and especially bacteria, it's actually all about the balance, not necessarily that you have lots of the good stuff because you can have too much of the good stuff. And I see that cause a lot of negative side effects as well. I see it a lot of times in people who are taking a ton of over-the-counter probiotics without knowing that they need it or without knowing which strains their body needs. But back to berberine. So natural antimicrobials work differently than antibiotics. One of the ways that berberine actually works in the gut is as a biofilm disruptor. Now this means that, well, hang on, let me back up. So a lot of organisms that wanna take up residence in your gut have something called a biofilm around them to protect them. Think of this protection kind of like a spider web that's protecting them from your body removing it. One of the functions berberine has is actually like breaking up that biofilm so then the organism can be accessed and killed and removed from your body. We also see that it does seem to target more harmful bacteria and less so beneficial bacteria. But what I will say about that is sometimes people can take something for too long or too much of it, and that type of general rule goes out the window. You know, another really strong antimicrobial is oregano oil, and that's one I see kill off a lot of beneficial bacteria in addition to some opportunistic bacteria. And this is part of why like going it alone on a gut healing protocol can have a lot of hiccups in it and potentially even be detrimental because there is a lot of nuance with how these supplements can function in any one body.